So, hey, Tiago, how's it going? So hey. you are a sur surprise BP Spotlight. Thanks. Thanks for having me here. Thank you very much for coming on. And uh, I really appreciate the, the short notice and the time you got to, to get along. And let me, let, let me tell you that you're also considered one of the best technical BPs to, to also describe the 1.8 upgrade. So let's do like this. Uh, tell us a bit about what's going on with the uh, 1.8 upgrade. Then tell us everything about EOS Rio. Who are you guys? Uh, what are you guys up to? And what are you guys doing? And why should the EOS voters uh, vote EOS Rio on their top BP list? Go. Awesome. Thanks. Thanks for, for having me here. Uh, so basically, we are ready for, for the upgrade despite not being produced producing on mainnet but um we are also block producers on other blockchains um and v1.8.1 is uh is actually a hard fork on on eos because it basically changes how uh information is stored um on chain it changes, it changes the basics of the protocol uh we've been doing uh small changes to the protocol or known hard fork changes uh, for this whole year. So it's it's really common thing. Uh, this is a good thing about EOS as Dimitri uh, told you that we can update not only, co of course, contracts and most of the protocol, it, it's, uh, uh, it runs on system contracts. So this is a clever way to let the the blockchain being upgraded without hard forks uh basically what will happen now which will, will be a, a a version break is that by changing the 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 way uh blocks are stored uh and this changes uh towards what we were already doing with hyperion uh it tends to be easier to query the 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 blockchain and also, there are other uh, other stuff there that uh, BPs can that, that will be switched off at first, uh, but BPs can can turn those uh, on as they want. And we we are seeing a lot of, of development of the protocol from uh, block one. It will be I will encourage everyone to check the strategic guidelines for EOSIO at block one. They have a, a pretty deep uh, discussion, not that deep for technical uh, people, but uh, you can grasp a, a high level understanding of what they are doing with the protocol and there are lots of things going on there. Uh, it's interesting because we prepared, we've been talking to a few uh, companies and we prepared a one pager comparing EOS to Ethereum. It's amazing how people don't know what's going on, and basically, it's hard to navigate uh, through blockchain technology. So we just did it. I can share with you uh, later. But basically, um, what what we have uh, with with one point eight is to fix a few bugs that were fixed with uh, patches. Uh, on the past, uh, we we changed uh, a few uh, system contracts, uh, ESIO uh, system contracts from unlimited uh, resource usage to limited resource usage. Then we had issues with this limitation, and now we we can solve the problem. We have the the inline action. Uh, that will uh, uh, an inline, inline action to self um, will fail because this was a, a, a vulnerability on you. So you have you have uh, a collection of eight or nine uh, changes that will be activated by block producers after we move to 1.8.1, which will happen on uh, September 23 in five days. But we are already have like Wax is already running on 1.8, so and and other test nets and test nets are already running on 1.8, so um, I, I I expect it to be fairly 
uh, standard day on on years. Uh, yeah, I, I think it will be a smooth transi transition. Uh, only that dApps have to check if they're the services that they are using uh, as history and as APIs uh, are on the 1.8, because if they are not, they they will simply won't respond and they will stop uh, syncing. So it's really important if, if there are any dApps out there that have not checked it, this, yet it's important that you do this and if you're just a user just check if your wallet is is compatible with 1.8 uh simplus is is compatible i i'm sure that um that uh scatter is also compatible it was great to see nathan there i know it's it's getting later there but uh it's a, it's it's great that you you guys are are hosting this event. Congratulations and thank you for doing that, Vernon. Thank it's you. Really thank awesome. you. You're, you're yourself hosting a huge conference in Rio. So let's switch to you guys. Uh, what's EOS Rio about? Who are you guys? Uh, you know, uh, uh, we got a few minutes till uh, till uh, for for this uh, meetup. So let's let's sum it up by telling you telling uh, tell us what's the best about EOS Rio. Why should you guys be on the top twenty one? I mean, we we are essentially a dev developer team that turned into infrastructure on EOS because we are, were, as the meter, we are, were trying to develop on Ethereum and uh, things wouldn't scale. Uh, so we went to look uh, for other projects that would uh, be a fit for what we want to do. And we found EOS and since like early 2018. And we've been following and contributing to the project uh to become a technical team and and a respected technical team um what we are doing and and this is our our background we've we've been working on tools we we launched one of the first years wallets which is simplius and it's focused on on security and on having your keys protected at all times uh, we are also evolving this to to take advantage of the permissioning um, the possibilities on EOS so that we can have uh, security and safety. I mean, it's not that safe if you have one private key that you have to write down and, and store it somewhere that you don't know uh, where it is. So we, we want to take advantage of this as well. We developed the Hyperion, which is uh, a history uh, API, um, which is now i think the the most used uh we have a, a good ecosystem of of great technical teams running hyperion nodes and and getting this kind of api which is very important to the network it's important for smart contract developers and to contracts that that access the the history uh to wallets to block explorers and to everyone there and now we are doing this push on on the community because that's what we are about, we we went we entered this to develop decentralized applications, to try to decentralize everything. Understanding that this is a a better alternative than, than what we have now, um, for how we organize as a society. So that's actually what we want, and we we had this little detour to infrastructure, and it was great to get to to know we use better, and we are. In the ecosystem, we're participating in a dozen uh, chains, uh, counting with mainnet, and this is also great about years. This kind of side chains ecosystem that's possible, and you can have different uh, EOS IO based chains testing different governance things and even different uh, technical solutions. Um, so this this is awesome. It's just great to be in that environment. And what we want now is to onboard people to use blockchain. And we want to onboard people that are not uh, currently using it because now we think that we, we achieved this kind of early adopters with a very specific profile of people that basically, I, I, I key that people that want to be rich in dollars by investing in Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. So that's, that's the, the early adopters. 
now we want to get the early majority of people that may be dissatisfied with centralized applications and already know what happens there and just showing how how uh, uh, certain applications can run on the blockchain we want to get people on board and make this um, used i mean uh, it's only as good as people can use it and have an impact on day-to-day -day lives so that's what the the event is about we are doing a, an agnostic event here in rio uh, one day just to get like the 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 brazilians into blockchain we we want to to make this movement to get people to use the centralized applications and not only gaming applications but really day-to-day -day applications that that can make their lives better also we will have the conference is open for all the world right yeah yeah we we on the first day we will have the real blockchain conference on october 15th um and it's an agnostic event just to get people use the centralized uh, getting to know the centralized applications other than just like okay i want to get rich which which token should i buy and that's a question that's recurrent for us uh, probably for you guys as well okay should i buy should i sell what should i do i will say okay i can tell you when i buy and you can sell because i always buy when it's <laughs> <laughs> when it's uh, going down and I always sell when it's going up. That's that's the way I work. Yeah. Um, high, but I don't... Low. Hey, sorry? Buy high, sell low. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's, that's my curse. But we really want to get people using decentralized applications. And also we are, we are receiving the, the US community here for the second US Community Conference, which will be a news IO conference, not a news mainnet conference. We, we are um, having Boss Core sponsoring this and talking about their solutions, their governance solutions, about the three second uh, less reversible block, which is an amazing solution. And this will really allow for decentralized payments because right now we don't have decentralized payments. It's not, uh, uh, a feasible that you have decentralized payments with 30 minutes block time or probabilistic finality or even one minute uh, which would be like in team uh, uh, um, uh, uh, probabilistic finality if you have two second irreversibility uh, deterministic irreversibility this means that by paying with credit card you, you can actually do a peer-to-peer -peer transaction without uh, a trusted third party guaranteeing this. So we, we have huge technological advancements in the ecosystem and the US Community Conference is about that, about discussing uh, the advancements that we are seeing in the in the USIO ecosystem as a whole, uh, talking about all the change that deployed um, on USIO and about the, the dApps working with USIO and just uh, how can we we basically uh, build a, a decentralized future. So, and and we are also live streaming. We know that this is we are we are far away from Israel. I would love to to go there. I really need. Uh, you should, man. We're waiting for you. Yeah, yeah. So, I'll, I'll, listen, I'll get... 